Okay, so I'll be show you, showing you here uh, that I'll be updating the table I'm using for my example because I want to place images. So to do this, I open, I log in to my database and then so describing the table these are my fields and I would like to include an, a, a field that will contain the file name of their pictures so to do this I'll be altering the table alter table M add and then the column let's say image file name so image file maybe that will be fine varkar let's say for example 40 and then enter <clears throat> so if we describe the table again or describe m you notice we have now added the field image file so select asterisk from m that's my table so let's now update this table so how to update update m set image file equals so let's see i already have before this so this is the folder i'm using i already created another folder named images and then i have downloaded some files so here are now the file names so i have created image file equals daisy.jpg where epno is equal to one so that's then it's a file name <clears throat> then i'll do that with a second one so we have here maricon so update m set image equals maricon <clears throat> the employee number is equal to two and then the third one i use i think i use lebron and employee number is equal to three then for the next one uh i think for number four i use curry and that's for employee number four So, so, so in toy number five is Ivana. What's the file name? I also use here Ivana, Coco, and Daniel. Okay. So, update M, set image file Ivana. That's for employee number five. Then the next one we have coco employee number six then the next one is daniel employee number seven so select asterisk from m so that's now my uh, table so I have updated my table and I have placed this or I placed the file names of <clears throat> their the pictures their pictures so after this now let's proceed to the program in my previous video I used this file wherein we retrieve uh, the output from my PHP file using JSON format. So a string in JSON, uh, JSON represent string representation or string format of the JSON representation of the data. So once we retrieve that, we output the contents of the table using a table and then updated the element with this ID list display using the temporary variable wherein we have placed the HTML codes.
So we'll be revising this data. So what we're going to do is I open this and I'm going to save it in another file name. So I'm going to call it mplistdemo4.php uh, but I'll be removing maybe the card the whole card and I'm going to place here this will be my or I'm going to with my container I'm going to place ID equals list display so the output will be placed inside this container so list display so this is played, that's the ID, so this will be updated. So after copying the previous file, what I did now is to remove all of the codes that will create the table. Because instead of a table, I'm going to create a, or I'm going to use card. So again, uh, for you to fully understand this one, you have to view the previous uh, previous video but let's just explain it a little bit so this program will call the refresh list and this is our refresh list function and the refresh list function will be using Ajax okay and the Ajax will be calling the or using the amp list that PHP which actually creates a file so retrieves the record of the M table so using a name etc so re retrieves the record of the M table from the database that I have uh, shown you a while ago and creates an array and that array is now encoded into JSON format so a string that is a representation or the JSON representation of this particular value and then in now my in my list so I'll be retrieving that of format so I'll be retrieving the that data and once I retrieve the data I'll be producing the output the HTML output using my uh, the temporary string this variable and then after that it will be displayed on this element with the list display ID and there is actually this container okay so let's try to do this so I will try to use the card columns class so div class equals card or I'm going to use single code card columns and then at the end of course I'm going to use slash div so I'm going to use card columns and then here so while I read the records from my my database or my table but actually it's already the uh, JSON format so while I loop through the records I'm going to create cards so temp div class equals card okay yes I think that's all okay class equals card temp plus equals then I have this slash div inside its card I'm going to place an image image so the class for image inside the card is IMG or card IMG top <clears throat> then the source now if you see remember in my folder the pictures are placed inside the images folder 
and my program is inside web dev that's why I have to specify the folder images slash and then this is where I place the filing and the filing will be coming from my data I dot uh, image file where did I get image file so if you're going to look at my table the field that contains the file names of the pictures are inside image file so I place here image file and then uh, the, I will end my se for, uh, single code you notice I have here a single code that's the for, uh, beginning and this is the end of my single code so I have here now my image <clears throat> and then the class equals card body then plus equals slash div so that's how I write so that I'm sure that uh, all my tags are all closed so they are all there's already a uh, a pair for my tags then here I'm going to place here the name so let's say h3 class equals card title maybe h4 then I'm going to place here the name so data i dot ename plus then slash h Three, or maybe I would like to make that smaller I use H4 so H4 for my employee name and then below my employee name so plus equals P class equals single quote card text then plus or let's add here employee number then plus the data i dot m no so plus slash p and that's the contents of my that's the contents of my card I use a card column so I'm going to save this I'm going to open the browser let's see if we have errors web dev m list dem 4.php so there is now my output so I have here the name and employee number and I have here the images of course your web page will look better if the images will have the same sizes but the images I downloaded have, don't have uh, have different sizes. But anyway, this is how uh, card columns look like. Just like a, if you have seen Pinterest, it is similar to Pinterest. So this will be my output. Now this is the output of the program, and as shown in a laptop or a desktop but how does it appear on a cell phone so let's try to test so what we're going to do is to click on this icon here and then look for more tools and then developer tools now you notice that here my output now will be similar to what you can see on your cell phone if you want to test how it looks in the desktop again you click on this icon so that's how it looks in on a desktop and once we click this 
that is how it looks on a cell phone so let me close this one now let us also check if our search facility is still working so let's say I'm going to type letter A you notice uh, I think there was one record that was not anymore shown I think it's Stephen Curry because Stephen Thompson or yes I think I use Stephen Thompson because there's no letter A in Stephen Thompson so what if I place A L so that's will be that will be my output so thank you very much for uh, viewing this video